when you got the, the call to be in this film, were you a fan of the original X-Men series? I was a new fan. I, I watched the movies before the audition and I read, I started reading the comic books for researching the role and then, and then I kind of became a full-blown comic book nerd. I love the fact that, I mean, did, was it, was it, did it take a while for you to decide to take on the role of Raven? Because I, I read somewhere that it did take a little bit convincing on your end. Um, I think that the fame was something, not, not so much, I, th I think that it's, it's a huge movie and that was definitely something to take into account. And, um, and that can be scary, but I don't ever want to pass on something because I'm scared, especially something that I love, like the script. To be able to be in a, a chair for 14 hours, I heard, to put on the blue makeup, uh, how is your sense of zen? Well, uh, that's a bit exaggerated. That's, no, 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 I wasn't in the chair for 14 hours, it was eight hours. But even then, how did you kind of find your zen during that period of time? Well, now I have patients of steel. Um, we had a lot of box sets, but the, also the seven makeup artists became my close friends still to this day. So it was kind of just like having a really weird sleepover every day. There's something really awesome about the way Matthew Vaughn directs a film. I mean, I've read that he's quite a, um, he, his films are so muscular and masculine and stuff. So how did you kind of fit into the way he directs a film? And, and, and did you have a lot of conversation with him to kind of make sure that your Raven was the right one for him and even for you? Um, I think that, we, I mean, every, every film, every role is, is about um, compromise and, and um, you know, um, I think that we, we both, before we even started filming, we both kind of had the same opinion about her, so it really wasn't too, too hard. To, we, we both were kind of on the same page. You guys have, you have a really nice scene, you have a couple of nice scenes with Nicholas, and so what was it like to shoot with him, and, and, and what kind of an actor is he uh, uh, on the set? It was great, working with everybody was fantastic. We were all really good friends. Nick is a very generous actor, a very good actor, and he kind of makes you better. The only problem is he's got these piercing blue eyes, and he has, he, it'll kind of, I've never fumbled with, I'm very good about not fumbling with lines and I, I messed up almost every take because he just kind of has this stare where he looks like he's staring right through you. And that was my only complaint about working with Nicholas, but he's fantastic. Did Michael Fassbender give you his kind of a stare also? Did you kind of get mesmerized by his, his piercing eyes at any point? Because he's got some intense eyes. You mean like, did I get woozy? <laughs> I would, but I'm just... Um, no, all of the, it's, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I know, gosh, that set was filled with just hot guys, wasn't it? Um, no, Fassbender's been like one of the most talented actors. He's along with Nick, so I don't really know, I don't really know who was more intimidating. I'm going to nerd out just a second. I see that you're in Katniss hairdo, and so so I know you can't really talk about the Hunger Games, yeah. but but I'm just nerding out. So I'm just I'm I'm, I'm watching you, and, and I'm trying to. How has it been so far? And and do you feel like I don't know? I'm very excited. And you were t earlier talking about this issue of fame, and you know by taking on something like X Men, and then also the Hunger Games, that's going to lead into another world for you. And so, um, how are you preparing for that? Like kind of mentally and kind of making sure that you're still being the, the, the actress that you are? I don't, I don't think I've ever, I don't, I'm not worried about me not being the actress that I am because I, I know that this is about the work and I know that I'm not gonna be mean because I'm not mean. I think the thing that scares me is just your life getting a little bit worse because <laughs> you go out to coffee and then people are taking pictures of you with your camera phone or every time you meet somebody they go away and, and tell a million people, well, she didn't, I, she's not a nice person because she didn't look me in the eye enough or I was in a bad mood the moment that I met them. That kind of stuff is scary. I don't think I worry about me changing. I think it's just kind of worrying about your life being different. And I like my life, but I also, I loved these roles and I loved these movies and I didn't want to pass on something because I was scared. Oh.